Welcome back to Sunless Sea. During the last episode, I got this new ship, the Maynad, and I feel like I did it kind of a disservice, because I was kind of depressed when I recorded that episode, so I I don't think I was very... I, I was hyped for the new ship, but I don't think that really came across very much. So I just want to re-stress. This is freaking awesome. We have a new boat. It's been a really long time, and this new boat has way more hull space, way more space for crew members, way more space for hauling stuff. It's going to allow all sorts of new quests. So, yeah, I'm, I'm freaking excited. This is awesome. So the, uh, the the sort of maiden voyage of the main ad, as far as doing things that I couldn't do before, is going to be to bring the merchant adventurer to the Avid Horizon. Don't know what he's going to do there. Probably don't want to know, although I have a feeling I'm going to find out. But, uh, yeah, got to bring him and his 40 materials for the passage there. And, of course, that is taking up most of my old space, so I can't really do much else. I kind of just need to do this right now. However, that is not all we're going to do. Along the way, I'm also going to stop at... Well, I guess I'm going to probably stop to get port reports at all of these places. Here. Doing this kind of bracket. But, in particular, I'm going to stop at Wither to get, um... Uh, what's the name of them? Let me look at the officer. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to take another step towards finding a cure for the Brisk Campaigner. So she needs Zoop, which I can get from Mount Palmerston, and Muter Salt, that's it. So I'm going to get the two Muter Salt from Wither, and then the one Zoop from Mount Palmerston. So, stop at Wither. Uh, I believe the Admiralty wanted me to stop at Frostfound for strategic information, so I'll stop by there while I'm there. Mal Palmerston for the Zoop, and then we'll see what happens with that quest, and then head on to the Avid Horizon, and see what the heck the Merchant Venture wants to do there. So, let's do it. We've got almost no room. Um, I guess there's no point in buying fuel, because it is cheaper at Mount Palmerston, and we're going to be there pretty soon. Uh, what about supplies? The fact that I have a larger crew, I think, means I'm going to eat more supplies, so I'm actually going to buy supplies. Let's do that. Alright, that'll be fine. Oh yeah, I also need more crew. Yeah, because I bought a new ship, but I didn't buy more crew, so I've got ten open spots. Let's go ahead and do that. Thirty echo for... I think you can get at most, what is it, like two or three? Yeah, there we go. Got three. Cool. Just keep doing that. Got three more. Three more. Now I just need one, so I can go back and do... Well, actually, I'll go forwards and do this, because this gives me one, but it's cheaper. There we go. Alright, 25 out of 25. We are ready to go. So this is sort of the maiden voyage of the main ad. Not technically, because, you know, I kind of <laughs> took it for a spin around here, but this is the first time I've actually seriously used it. Yeah, this thing's pretty speedy, and it really does turn fast. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Boink. Funny thing is, even though I've got this new ship, I'm not actually any more effective at combat, really. I'm not going to do any more damage. I mean, I can't shoot people from the back, but... That's probably not going to happen. It's kind of weird to think. I've upgraded my boat so much, but I don't actually do any more damage. Yeah, how much fuel am I using? Is it going by faster? I mean, it is the same engine, so I'm guessing if it's the same engine, it probably uses the same amount of fuel. I doubt the boat has any bearing on that. I don't know. I don't remember how fast it went down before, but this seems reasonable. Considering I've got my lights on. I still can't believe how much fuel using your lights takes. It seems absurd, like, come on, invent LCD... LCD. <laughs> invent LED technology already. Stupid coal-fired garbage. Bleh. Here's a port report. 
don't believe I have anything for the first curator. Nope. So what am I still missing? Meathbow, uh, Gant, Cosmogon. Wait. No, no, wait, these are the things I already have, right? You have one. Yeah, so these are the th I Yeah, I still need these. These are the ones I have. I think? I'm confused. I'm locked with no more. Yeah. Yeah, I've already got those. These I need. Okay. Vi wait. Huh? Violent. But didn't I already get violent ink? I'm so confused. Oh. Oh, it's the page. That is so confusing. It's the pages. It's because you have a page for every color that you haven't gotten yet. Unlocked when you don't have the page. Oh, I. This hurts my brain. I'm leaving. Bye. No. Go. I can feel my terror already going up just by trying to make sense of that. Oh, I thought I got rid of the nightmare. <laughs> Become to suffer again. I guess I did get rid of it, and then it came back. Yeah, seriously, that is so confusing. Let me look at the pages I have. Wait, where are the pages? Is it in the hold? Oh, yeah, here. Okay, yeah, so it, it's just the three that I need. Alright. <laughs> that is so weird. Uh, Gant, Cosmogon, and Apossian. So, Gant and Apossian, I'm not sure. Cosmogon, however, do you think it's perhaps related to the, uh, the cinders? Because didn't the cinders glow with Cosmogon? Oh, look, it even says the, the fecid, the foded, fetid, something like that, uh, the fungal. These flourish in the glow of Cosmogon. The fungal. So yeah, I think it's related to the Blemigans and maybe the Utter Shroom. I mean, maybe... Maybe the Ray Drenched Cinder itself was actually the thing I needed to turn in. Maybe I should have kept it. It's okay, I'll get more later. Would have given me a lot more money, though. Because I sold it... Oh. Hey, wait a minute. You know what? I can fuck you up now. I mean, you're adorable, and I kind of want to ride you as a ship, because you're freaking cool, but... I'm sorry. I'm really curious. Will it even attack me? Okay, yeah. Alright. I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I actually feel bad about this. That was a massive charge, and that was wall slow. Ooh, 30 damage. You've destroyed a lifeberg. Take a moment to enjoy your victory, then poke through the fragments. Hmm. Concentrate on replenishing supplies or gathering treasure. Okay, so it's either, like, fuel and or supplies or... Looks like money. Well, I don't really have room for supplies. For the most part. I've only got eight hold space, so let's go with treasure. Dark fragments. Fragments gleam like obsidian in the depths of the ice. Their glassy blackness recalls Mount Nomad. Their predatory terrain feature, which haunts the blackness of Void's approach. What is the connection? Huh. So, within the ice itself, there's fragments that seem similar to Mount Nomad. Does that mean that this lifeberg perhaps broke off from Mount Nomad? It's a piece of it? A small piece? I just love this, though. Mount Nomad, the predatory terrain feature. <laughs> I just love that. Predatory terrain feature. It's not something you hear very often. Alright, hunting trophy and a couple outlandish artifacts. 
I should sell some of that stuff. I think I've got too many of them. I believe Atlantis artifacts can be sold for a hundred each. And the hunting trophy, I'm not sure. I think the hunting trophy is worth less. I remember last time I came here, there were like two lifebergs hanging around. Maybe there's another one. I'd like to be nice and not kill them, but I kind of need to do it. Because I just, I need stuff. I need supplies and money and things like that. And I need to experiment. And now that I have a new ship, that means I need to kill things. Including that massive moth if it comes up again. Oh, hi. Alright, this time I'm not going to honk my horn, so I should get a little bit more of a drop on it. Oh, it's out of range. Come back! I was thinking I could maybe dodge it, and I did. Oh god, it's gonna go again, isn't it? Oh, uh, slow! Oh. The Memento Moray is a beautiful weapon. Three outlandish artifacts, one hunting trophy. Yeah, I'm just gonna focus on money right now, because I need to replenish my money. I'm running low on fuel. I'm gonna turn off my lights. Okay, port report. Let's get two muter salt. Takes five Z stories. I've got plenty. Yeah, we're good. Should I explore town? Sure. Ooh. A castaway. Oh, this is the thing that I, I approached and it turned into a monster, right? A woman in an iridescent green gown waves vaguely from a rock near the shore. Yeah, this is it. Uh, is it going to do the same thing? Yeah, let's try it. <laughs> yep, okay, so it does the same thing every time. Oh, if only I had strange catch. 36. 26. Eh. I've got plenty of crew. Get in there. Damn, I succeeded again. I've gotten really lucky with this. Yeah, so I'm not going to read this because this is the same thing that happened before. But uh, there's a little bit of Stygian Ivory and a Harlot Fry. And I don't remember what you can do with the Harlot Fry. Is it... Do you give it away to the... Um... What's the person's name? The person that likes sciency stuff at London? Uh, you know the person. Let's go. Am I going to make it to Mount Palmerston? I think I have to leave my lights off. Now I hope I come across the moths. And maybe even Mount Nomad. I think I could take Mount Nomad. Although I've heard it shouts words of, like, burning words at you. Like, literally, it sets you aflame with words. So basically, the moving terrain feature burns you by talking at you. T totally normal, right? Poor report. Could buy some fuel. I don't think I need to. Nah. As long as I leave my lights off, it'll be fine. In fact, even with my lights on, I, eh, I'm not going to risk it. I don't want to buy a new ship and then find myself stranded out at Z. That'd be lame. Honk honk. Any mountains want to fight me? I 
I bet this ship is so big it can't even be sucked down into these vortices. We should immediately not test this hypothesis. Sorry, science. You'll have to wait. For somebody who doesn't care about their life. Port report. Okay, yeah, let's do the thing for... Oh, wait a minute, there's there's two here. Okay, two possible options to do the uh, what the Admiralty requested of me at Frostfound. A Remy contact or a Withern contact? Let's see. A Riddlefisher is wearing the blue and red scarf that marks him as a contact. It would be a Riddlefisher. What are the odds he'll give you a straight answer? Or Withern contact. Interestingly, a Withern dock squatter is also wearing a red and blue scarf. What are the odds she'll give you an answer at all? 72 or 44? Hmm. Well, I guess I'll go with the one that gives me a higher chance. 72%. Succeeded. When will the towers topple? The Riddle Fisher shares a series of linked riddles with you. You identify the linking factor. It's a prediction about who will win the contest between questions and riddles next year. Perhaps the Admiralty will find it useful. It's the closest thing to information about the balance of power this far north. Okay, two strategic information, which means I can craft a vital intelligence. Although sometimes strategic information is needed and vital intelligence is not, so I'm not actually going to craft it into vital intelligence until I need it. Because you can always craft it, but you can't uncraft it. I just want to fight stuff now. It's like, bring it on, come on. I've got the crew, I've got the weapons, I've got the hole. If I come across Mount Nomad, am I actually going to fight it? I think I can take it. I think I would fight it. I'd feel more comfortable if I actually had a full 450 hole, but still, I think I would. Heck, I could always buy supplies and just repair my hole at Z. Oh, hello. Um, I need fuel. I'm, I'm just going to get fuel so I don't have to worry about it. I don't want to worry about running out of fuel in the fight. Oh, um, well, you know, let's just do the officer quest right now, and then let's see what happens. Okay, yeah, it's got everything. Seven drowning pearls, one zoop, two muter salt, and one secret. Alright, so this is the next attempt at the cure. Let's hope this one is more effective than the last one. Approaching despair. Oh, shit. A night, a day, and a night pass. And she returns to your cabin, fists clenched, lips tight. Nothing. It is not even won me time. But if my soul is irretrievably contaminated, then perhaps... I have one more idea. Whoa, do I already have everything I need for this? I am uncomfortable with this matter of Z-Gods, but I cannot afford discomfort. Can you help me find this last thing? It is rare, I know. Oh, is that a Judgment's Egg? Ha! <laughs> I'm so glad I kept that Judgment's Egg. I knew it would come up again. I could have sold it for like, a, I think 600 Echo or something like that. Three secrets, alright, got it. And, uh... Unlocked one half Stone's attention, which uh, apparently I do. Okay. A kind of desperate delight. Days pass. False stars fade. The Z is silent. At last you find her, calm and grave, 
standing at the bow. Or is it bow? 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 I don't remember. Anyway, she turns. I can report success. I can. But I am uncertain now of the I. Who am I? My old soul is gone forever. I have another, one less combustible. No, there's little more I can say. I promised you I would keep no more of my own secrets. But I am another now. No, this is not some narrow slight. This is a holy mystery I would not curse you with. But you have my thanks. Always. Always and forever. You are welcome. That was a really long quest. Like, that required a lot of things and a lot of steps. And frankly, it just costs so many resources. And I don't want to be picky. I mean, I like the Brisk Campaigner, and I'm glad I could help her out, but... That's a lot of effort, and I kind of want something. <clears throat> I'm such a greedy piece of shit. <laughs> but it looks like you can celebrate with her, and maybe that would give you something. Uh, it looks like I just need a cask of mushroom wine. I don't suppose they sell that here, do they? Nope. Well, gonna have to wait. Okay, that gave me some more hole space. Should probably just fill up with fuel, I guess. Uh, maybe a couple supplies. I'm not sure if I'm going to be maneuverable enough to get behind it this time. Let's see. Oh. Yep, looks like we're good. One hit point. <laughs> Two fuel? That's it? Lame. I don't even think that subsidizes the cost of everything I invested fighting it. I probably used up two fuel, not to mention some supplies. Bleh. Mount Nomad! Giant Moth! I believe the last time I saw the Giant Moth, it was right about here. It's like right above the Ragged Crow. Let's see if it's still there. Oh, there it is. Alright, come on. How many hit points does that thing have? How many hips? 500 hips. I'm about to break some of them. Doesn't seem to have a charge at the moment. Oh, there we go. Slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. Memento Moray is so good. Oh. Let's see. Hmm, science or jewels? I still want money. Oh, a casket of sapphires. Is that the stuff that's worth a lot? Because there's different versions of sapphires. 
Is is a casket the one that's worth a lot? I think it is. Uh, sapphires. Blue jewels are embedded in the rotting fuselage of the moth's remains. You gather as much as you can, splashing frantically in the ship's boat, before it disintegrates altogether, and the remaining jewels are lost. Wait, the rotting fuselage of the moth's remains? Why would it be rotting? It just died like 10 seconds ago. Weird. Alright, let's check the casket. What is it worth? Casket of Sapphires. Oh, wait, it only sells for 99? Are you serious? Oh, it's the mountain shirt that I was thinking of. The thing that's worth a lot. That's the one that's worth 2,000. Yeah, it's only worth like 100 Echo. That's it? I killed that huge thing and I just got like 100 Echo out of it? That is disappointing. Freaking thing at 500 hit points. To be fair, it didn't do any damage to me, so it's... I still come out ahead. Mount Nomad! I want to kill you and steal your heart. <laughs> I probably should have brought some more supplies. Yeah. Whoops. I think I need to adjust the amount of supplies I buy because I have more crew and I think that consumes more. I wish it said. Like, does it say your consumption rate? I don't believe it does. Nah, it doesn't. However, I believe it doesn't affect... I don't think it affects the frequency of the ticks for when your hunger increases. I think it changes how much your hunger increases every tick. Like, let's see what it... Yeah, alright. So it goes to 12. I don't remember how much it increased before, though. So that information is not very helpful. Should go to 24 next, right? Yep, 24. So it goes 12 every every tick. Okay. Let's get a port report. And, uh... I guess we're just gonna open the high gate. <laughs> I'm gonna get the entire fucking Undersea blown up or frozen or something. Jesus Christ, what am I doing? Ah... <sighs> The Curious Miscellany, if that's how that's supposed to be pronounced. Miscellaneous? Miscellany? I think so. The Curious Miscellany, gathered from all across the wide Black Z. Your companions... Your companion knows how to use these materials. Almost there. Most of the supplies remain packed. The venture extracts gems, wire, bone. At the base of each statue, he constructs a kind of cage. At the heart of each cage is a candle. We won't light them, he tells you confidential confidentially. We'd be seen. The gate only opens when the watchers are blind. Oh god. Pass with him or watch him. Well, I can't pass with him, but... Searing Enigma. Even if I wanted to pass with him... I mean, even if I could pass with him, would I want to? Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, no, I wouldn't. I just read this. This will end your game, although your next character will retain something interesting. Let's not do that. No, no thanks. I don't want to end my game. Let's uh, watch as he completes his scheme. Trade exists beyond the gate, in the high wilderness. The bazaar itself has told me this. I will earn the currencies of heaven. I will return... Strong with strange riches. He's not coming back ever. A ravishing light. The gate does not open in the way of other gates. Nothing moves. But its surface blazes bright as the skin of a star. The light is like the savage radiance from the dawn machine's ruptures. 
The venturer and his machine shine like glass, their bones illuminated within, a sight so beautiful that sailors cry and fall to their knees. The light grows brighter still, and now all the colors in all the ice around you are visible. Brighter, and you can see nothing at all. The light fades. The gate, the high gate, is closed. The venturer and his cargo are gone, into the void. As your eyes recover, far, far away in the uttermost south, you glimpse a pulse of ruddy, envious light. Hmm? Far, far away in the uttermost south, you glimpse a pulse of ruddy, envious light. What is in the south? That would be envious. The dawn machine? Well, now I have a searing enigma. And five pages. That is very good. Pages are hard to come by. Very hard. And... It's done. He's gone. He's... He's just gone. Ruddy, envious light. I'm thinking it's either the Dawn Machine or the Grand Geode. Or perhaps a Varkas? Does that mean I should go there and something new will have appeared? Some new story event? I wonder. Hmm. But yeah, the fact that I have a Searing Enigma is really, really helpful, because that means I can finally get the treasure map at the Empire of Hands. And if there's one thing I could use right now, it's treasure to get money. Okay, um, what do I do now? Ooh. Ooh, let's go to the Chapel of Lights. Wait, I need supplies. Can I buy supplies at Aram? I think... I think you can. Even if you can't, I guess I could stop at Aestevel just to get some supplies. Yeah, let's take a stop at the Chapel of Lights. Uh, because apparently if you eat at the Chapel of Lights, there's a chance that you can become... I believe it's called unaccountably peckish. Which is an effect that I want, because I think you have to be un unaccountably peckish in the first place to be able to eat at the Feast at Adam's Way, which will allow me to do the whole cannibalism thing with the... Officer guy? What's your name? The Sigil Ridden Navigator? Yeah, so I think to kind of start off that whole storyline, I need to eat at the Chapel of Lights. And become unaccountably peckish. I think there's just a random chance of that happening when you eat there. So, let's see if we can make it happen. Boink. Mount Nomad! I know Mount Nomad's around here. It's watching me. Perhaps that is Mount Nomad and it's just sleeping. Ow. Ooh. Attend a service at the chapel. Yeah, you know what? I think in the latest, uh, patch that they released, I believe they actually added a new storyline event to the, uh, to the Chapel of Lights, and I think this might be it. Because I don't think this was here before. Let's get a Bora board. And let's eat. Oh, look at that. Unaccountably peckish. It happened. Hmm. Okay, so I think I can use that next time I stop by Adam's Way. Yes. Oh shit, they don't sell anything here. That's disturbing. <laughs> Give a nightmare to the well. 
I also need to be unaccountably peckish. It'll reduce your nightmare's strength, but also scar you permanently and increase your wounds by one. Scar me permanently? No thanks, I think I can handle the dream. Yeah, I want to do this, but I don't have the supplies to do it. Five supplies, I've only got two. Let's head over to Aram. I really hope I can buy supplies at Aram. Hmm. Maybe I should just go to Aestavel. I think I should. Yeah, let's just go straight to Aestavel. <laughs> I think I'm actually going to farm Aestavel. I think I'll go there twice. But then again, I'm going to need fuel. Shit. Well, if I don't turn on my lights, I'll be fine. The only thing I'll gain at that point, or the only thing I'll lose, I suppose, is is sanity. My terror will keep going up without my lights. Port report. Gather yeah, supplies. <laughs> Lost a crew. Sorry. There's plenty more. Yeah, let's hang around for a second. Not exactly exciting, but I want more supplies. I don't have a lot of money either. I don't want to be spending a bunch on supplies. <laughs> then after I get more supplies, I'm going to go back to the Chapel of Lights and do that story event. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I'm gonna swing myself onto the beach like a baseball bat. I didn't think that would actually hit. It is actually hurting, by the way. Even though it doesn't say it hurts down here, it actually does remove one hit point. It's kind of weird. Eight supplies, 16. Okay, that's plenty. Let's go. I really am going to need fuel soon. Let's, uh, let's stop at Aram, because I don't remember if you can buy fuel there or not. And if I can't buy fuel there, then I need to conserve my light. Yeah, I feel like I'm just going to go down to the Empire of Hands to uh, get the treasure map. Because I want to go back to London to restock, but I might as well just do the treasure map while I'm here. It's not that far away. buy mushroom wine here. No. Balls. Big. Hairy. Balls. Anyway, yeah, you can buy fuel. <laughs> it's really freaking expensive, though. Well, I guess I kind of have to, right? I mean, where else am I going to get fuel? 
Con Shadow? I could stop at Con Shadow on the way to the Empire of Hands. I probably should, honestly. But I'm gonna need fuel. I'm still gonna need fuel, even if I stop at Con Shadow. So, let's just do it. It's expensive, but whatever. God, I really don't have that much money. Alright, that should be fine. Alright, let's go to the Chapel of Lights, and then I think I'm gonna end the episode there. You've got one last chance to show yourself, Mount Nomad. If you don't, I'm gonna be... I mean, I'm gonna be so... peeved. Yeah, I'll be angry. I'll be so angry you'll have nightmares. About... mechanical and chemical uh, erosion smoothing over your terrain features. <gasps> Wait, what's that? Holy fuck, it's Mount Nomad! Do I actually want to fight it? I was kind of half joking. I, shit. Do I actually fight it? How many hit points does it have? A thousand? Um. It's awfully fast. Oh shit, I've overshot the Chapel of Lights. Um... I heard somebody say... If I remember correctly that they... No. Ah oh, shit, you know what, I don't... I think somebody said that Mount Nomad is the strongest enemy in the game. I was about to say, I think they said they defeated it with a boat smaller than the one I was using before. Let alone this boat that's even bigger than the one I was using before, but I think they're actually talking about the Flute Core, if I remember correctly. Not Mount Nomad. I'm pretty sure somebody said it's the strongest enemy in the game. N no. I'm sorry, I just got this ship. I don't want to die. I didn't remember it had a thousand hit points. If it had like 500 or 750, maybe. A thousand? No. I guess we can eat again. Alright. Let's attend to service. Oh, that did a bunch of stuff. Oh, yes, the priest says, smiling. The drowned man hums tonight. His song, like fish row clouds the water. He waits for the congregation's ascent. We will feel him in the harps of us. And if his tune is caught, it'll be raised to the sky where the bright birds pass. Here, the congregation cry out like birds, and the cries rattle away into the rafters. And the air hangs sultry, and the gods no longer frown. At the end of the service, you leave, your lips still wet and your stomach filled with secrets. You could grow rich on this diet, if you live. I now have... St. Arthur's Lesson... St. Arthur's Lesson X Memoirs, The Lessons of the Chapel. Oh, and I'm even more unaccountably peckish. What happens if I keep getting peckish? Do I just become like a full-on cannibal or something? Hmm. I'm also getting a shit ton of terror, which is not good. Holy crap, my terror's really high. But I also got a secret. Oh, whoa. Reject what you have learned. A tough challenge. 33%. That's not good. So it looks like I can just keep doing this. For every five supplies, I guess I can just keep getting more peckish and maybe just keep getting secrets. But obviously that's not a good idea. I have a feeling if you get too peckish, you get, I don't know, wounded or something? Because it said you could, like, you could live on this if... Or you could be satisfied, whatever it said. You know, like, you could... You could keep doing this if you live... Which implies that there's a chance I might not. Oh, you even need a Searing Enigma to do this. I am not going to give it up. 
Nope, I'm using that for the treasure map. Okay, I think we're good. So, I'm going to end this episode here. This has been a fun adventure with this boat. Or ship, rather. The main ad. It's a lovely thing. I feel a hell of a lot more confident doing battle with large creatures than I was in my old ship. And now if we've said farewell to the merchant venturer, he'll be back soon. He'll pop around with all his riches. <laughs> nah, he's, he's, he's dead. He's so dead. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to head down to probably Khan's Shadow to resupply. And then I think over to the Empire of Hands to use my Searing Enigma to get the treasure map. And then after that, actually find the treasure on the island. Treasure Island! <gasps> Should be fun!